Washington, Donald Trump Jr. told Congress that he does not remember discussing with his father the infamous 2016 meeting with Russians at Trump Tower before news of it broke last year, according to testimony released Wednesday. Obviously he's aware of it now, because he's read it, it's been in the papers, but that's the extent of my knowledge of his knowledge of it, the president's son told the Senate Judiciary Committee during closed-door testimony in September. Asked whether he spoke with his father immediately after the session, Trump Jr. said he did not. I wouldn't have wasted his time with it, he said, explaining that he took the meeting, because he was told a Russian lawyer had dirt on Hillary Clinton that never materialized. Trump Jr. also told the committee that he did not know if his father was involved in the drafting of a statement about the meeting in July 2017 that critics have said was misleading. I never spoke to my father about it, he told the committee. I n his testimony, Trump Jr. Gave his account of the meeting in a prepared statement, and then answered follow-up questions, frequently saying he could not recall details. He was asked whether he or anyone else had encouraged Russians to hack Clinton's emails, which his father had done in July 2016, generating headlines, Trump Jr. said he himself had not. Quote, I don't remember if anyone else did, the president's son said. He also said his father has never expressed to him any frustration with the ongoing investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. In a statement after the testimony was released, Trump Jr. said he appreciated the opportunity to assist the committee in its inquiry into the meeting. The public can now see that for or over five hours I answered every question asked and was candid and forthright with the committee, he said. <music> Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley said he released the testimony of those involved in the meetings so Americans could see the unfiltered information and make up their own minds about what happened. But Senator Richard Blumenthal, D. Connecticut, said Trump Jr. evaded and contradicted himself in many of his answers and should answer questions again, this time under oath. I have no confidence that he has told the whole truth right then, Blumenthal said. One of the blatant potential untruths here is about his conversations with his father about this Trump Tower meeting. The June 9, 2016, meeting is of keen interest to investigators probing Russian interference in the presidential election and possible links to the Trump campaign. The sit-down was requested by Natalia Veselnitskaya, a Kremlin-linked Russian lawyer who was working to overturn the Magnitsky Act, which punished Russian officials. It was brokered and attended by Rob Goldstone, a colorful music promoter who represented Russian pop star Emin Galarov, the son of Oliver Charas Galarov, who asked him to set it up on Veselnitskaya's barge.
Also in attendance were President Trump's son-in-law and advisor, Jared Kushner, former campaign chair Paul Manafort, now under indictment, Renatik Mechin, a former Soviet counterintelligence officer working as a lobbyist in Washington, Anatoly Samachornov, an interpreter, and Ike Kavilids, an executive at the Agalarov's real estate company. Details of the meeting were first reported by the New York Times in July 2017. Days earlier, according to an email released by the committee, Goldstone wrote in an email that Trump lawyers were worried about how disclosures about it would look. I have today been interviewed by attorneys for the second time about it, Goldstone wrote to Emin Galarov. They are concerned because it links Don Jr. to officials from Russia, which he has always denied meeting. It's a really potentially serious situation, so you and your father should be aware, Goldstone added in the email. In testimony, Goldstone told the Judiciary Committee that he told Agalarov from the start that he thought the face-to-face -face was a really bad idea. Emin simply said that all he knew was that there was some potentially damaging information. Hillary, which could be of interest to the Trumps, Goldstone said. Goldstone said he concluded the lawyer, Veselnitskaya, must be politically connected and did not understand why he or his client would get involved. In the call at the end, I said that I believed it was a bad idea and that we shouldn't do it, Goldstone said. He said, it doesn't matter. You just need to get the meeting. And then I said, I think this is a really bad idea, quote, Goldstone added. Trump Jr. told the committee he was skeptical that the meeting would pay off. But, he added, at the time, I thought I should listen to what Rob and his colleagues had to say. As it later turned out, he continued, my skepticism was justified. The meeting provided no meaningful information and turned out to be not about what was represented. The meeting was instead primarily focused on Russian adoptions. Quote, dot asked whether he felt like he had been duped into attending the meeting organized by Goldstone under false pretenses to grab his attention, Trump Jr. said, I imagine there was an element of showmanship involved. Dot quote dot Goldstone testified that Kushner also seemed annoyed that Veselnit's car use spiel didn't contain an obvious smoking gun. Dot after a few minutes of this labored presentation, Jed Kushner, who is sitting next to me, appeared somewhat agitated by this and said, I really have no idea what you are talking about. Could you please focus a bit more and maybe just start again? Goldstone said. Quote, and I recall that she began the presentation exactly where she had begun it last time, almost word for word, which seemed, by his body language, to infuriate him even more. Goldstone also testified about two attempts to set up a meeting between the senior Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin. The first try occurred when Trump went to Russia for the Miss Universe pageant in 2013.
Then, in 2015, Trump was invited to the Elbra Galarov's 60th birthday party in Moscow. Trump employee Rona Graf responded to Goldstone that she doubted the candidate could make it, to which Goldstone responded that Trump might welcome a meeting with President Putin, which Emin would set up. The committee previously released testimony from Veselnitskaya, who has also given extensive interviews to NBC News, and from Glenn Simpson, the founder of research firm Fusion GPS, who worked with Veselnitskaya on Magnitsky Act matters, and who also commissioned the infamous dossier that detailed Trump's alleged Russian links. Ken Delanian, Garrett Hock, Leanne Caldwell, Rebecca Shabbard reported from Washington, and Tom Winter, Tracy Connor, Rich Gardella, Sarah Fitzpatrick, Courtney McGee, Anna Shetra and Kenzie Doucet, Noah Levy and Benjamin Poo reported from New York.